in theory, we could stop this module right there, right? I mean, in theory, now I've just given you uh, the very basic introduction to how to stel tell stories using Scratch. You've seen how to get multiple sprites and new stages and how to sort of put some sprites together so that collectively they tell a story. But, but I want to give you some more uh, experience with this. I want you to see a bunch of different things that will make our stories even better. And so right now, this is a good first sort of cartoony story, but we want to add to it. We want to make it bigger and better. And so let's think of different things that we could do. So I always ask my students, and I, and I use this activity a lot with classrooms of students, I say, well, what does every bad joke need, right? I mean, this is the world's worst knock-knock joke. What does every bad joke need at the end of the knock-knock joke? Uh, and pretty quickly, they'll give me two answers, which are exactly the two answers that I want. The first thing that it needs is a laugh track, right? I mean, if you're watching a sitcom on television, every joke ends with a bad laugh track in the background of a, of a, of a couple of people laughing. And the other thing that may or may not be there with a bad joke is the idea of a cymbal crash rim shot, right? You know, the um, we want that kind of, of thing in here. And so this is a good way, time for us to introduce the idea of sound and how we put sound into our different sprites. And so, first of all, it's worth noting that you know when you look at the top here, I'm looking at John, I can look at the scripts for John, I can look at the costumes for John, and in fact, in our next uh, video, we'll look at changing costumes for John. And then next to this, there's this idea of sounds, and John only has a preloaded sound right now. It's a pretty silly sound. It's right, just that popping sound. But we want to add some sounds, and we could add them to John, or we could add sounds to Lisa, right? So I went over to Lisa, and when I moved into her, uh, it automatically opened in sounds, because that's where I was with John, but I'm in Lisa's uh, stuff here. Uh, but I would argue, that just for the sake of argument here, that I don't think either John or Lisa should be worried about sound effects here. Right? And so, again, the story I always talk with my students about is, you know, if, if, if this is our movie and we've got, you know, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence here, uh, you know, telling my, my world's worst knock-knock joke, uh, I don't want to have to say to Jennifer Lawrence, hey, you know, Jennifer, after the joke is over, would you run off stage and go on, on the drums off there? And, you know, she'd look at you and say, that's not my job. That's not what I'm hired to do. Right? Whose job is it to do uh, sounds? The answer is there's probably some sound effect guy whose job it is is to to play sounds. And so what I'm going to do is actually add the sounds to my stage. My stage manager can do this. And again, this could in theory go with anybody, but for sake of argument, I'm going to show you that we can actually add code to stages. So I'll click on the stage, and we came up in backdrop mode, uh, and I'll go come over to scripts for uh, the sta the stage. Thing. And you notice that, that I can make, you know, there's a, there's a limited set of commands here for my stage, right? I can say when the green flag is pressed, I want to do things. But the only thing that's not here is there's no motion for the stage because, well, it'd be really silly to have a stage moving around on us. Uh, so there's no motion blocks. But I want to go into sound, and I want to be able to have this, this uh, stage manager play some things. So I'm going to go over to sounds, and the pop is not a sound that I really want. So I want to be able to add some new sounds. And just like we saw with uh, backgrounds and with costumes for sprites, I can upload from a library. I can actually record right on my computer. I can use the built-in microphone and record things. Or I can upload sounds that might exist on my computer. Uh, so I want to just choose from the library here. Right, here's a, the, the basic library of sounds that come with, with Scratch. And so there's a whole bunch of things here. Right? You can preview them right here. So listen to this one. Right? Or alien creaking. Right? So there's a whole bunch of different things that we could do. Uh, I'm going to go into two things here. I'm going to go to the humans, and I want to have a laugh track. And while this isn't perfect, uh, this, this, is, this is the laugh track we're going to use. I'm going to use the female laughing. The kids hate that laugh, but it's a good first laugh, right? It's just, let me play it again. <laughs> so we want that added into my uh, stage manager. So we're going to give him the laugh for the female. And so we've imported the laugh. And then I, I also need a rim shot. And uh, for that one, I don't have uh, absolutely everything that I want. I don't have the perfect ba but I do have a cymbal crash. <laughs> right? That's good enough. So we're going to import those sounds into the stage manager. And the idea is that I want the stage manager then to follow a particular script. Right? So I'll click on the script. 
Again, seems to be a little bit slow today, but now we're going to say, when the green flag is pressed, I want him to play some sound effects, right? I want him to play the cymbal crash, and I want him to play the female laughing. And so I can you know, select this drop down, and there's any of the sounds that I've already loaded in here under the sound effects are, are loaded in here, and I want to have him play those two sounds. And so we can run this now, say, places everybody, and action. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I want, right? It played it too soon. I, I, I gave the, the stage manager bad directions. I told him that when I said action, play the sounds immediately. But of course, that's not what I want. I want him to play it after the sound effect is all, or after the joke, excuse me, is all over. And so I need to actually have him wait. Now again, this is where it gets a little bit strange. With humans, of course, what I would just say to the stage manager is, look, when the joke is over, play the sound effect. But uh, we don't quite know how to do that yet, but we do know how to just have him wait. Right? And we happen to know that this script is five lines of, of script, two seconds each line. And so we know that's a total of 10 seconds of joke telling. And so we're going to wait 10 seconds. And then after the joke is over, we want to have him uh, play the sound effects. And so now we can say, knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? <laughs> and we've got our sound effect added in.